Forecast-Informed Reservoir Operations, or FIRO, is an innovative and new water resource management strategy that can both improve flood risk management and water supply operations of our reservoirs, as well as help build resiliency against climate risk. The development of FIRO has been led by a steering committee comprised of individuals possessing great expertise and representing several federal, state, and local agencies. Their trailblazing work has focused on Lake Mendocino on the Russian River, which is co-managed by the Army Corps of Engineers as well as Sonoma Water. By leveraging existing technology, coupled with our current scientific understanding of weather and hydrology, we are actually able to transform this information into tools that reservoir operators can utilize to inform more proactive operations, rather than just waiting until water falls on the ground and responding in a more reactive mode. These benefits have been shown for Lake Mendocino through the newly released Final Viability Assessment. Firo has proven to not only preserve water, but it can also enhance flood risk management, which makes it a true win-win solution. This effort represents what happens when people and organizations collaborate and use science and data. Sonoma Water is pleased to have been part of this process and is excited in the release of this new report that we believe will benefit future generations. I'm excited to be part of this process going forward as well. Forecast informed reservoir operations was an idea just a few years ago that we weren't really sure could be done in the real world. So we developed a, a program to try to test it out. Uh, the motivation was because a drought a few years ago had hit and the drought hit right after a big set of storms had uh, filled up the reservoir substantially and a bear, fair bit of that water was released so that there'd be room for the next storm to come uh, if the next storm came to you know, let, it, uh, ca let the dam capture some of that runoff and uh, reduce the flood downstream. But it turned out in that year, the drought began right after that and that water was gone. And uh, questions came up about, you know, was that the right thing to do? So we developed a program with a very uh, cross-disciplinary effort to explore whether or not forecasts are good enough. And we discovered atmospheric rivers are the type of storm that causes the flooding and provides most of the water supply. So uh, from that uh, work, we've learned now that forecasts are in fact good enough to uh, start operating the dam differently within a more flexible way. That includes uh, this last winter operating in the driest year on uh, one of the driest years on record in the watershed uh, with uh, with FIRO operations uh, tools available to the Army Corps of Engineers and Sonoma Water Agency. And that uh, during this very dry winter, uh, at the end of that, uh, we ended up with 20% uh, more water behind the dam uh, because of FIRO. And what this does is allow for the public and, and agriculture and fish in the river uh, to have more water available when, than they normally would have during, you know, after a very dry winter. We're very excited about these results. They, uh, we're hoping they'll be implemented long-term uh, at Lake Mendocino and that the lessons we've learned from this uh, experience will be applicable elsewhere. And in fact, we're starting to do work on other reservoirs, including Prado Dam in Southern California and New Bullard's Bar and Oroville Dams in Northern California and the Sierra Nevada, trying to explore you know, how this might work in other locations. Those watersheds also benefit from the predictability of atmospheric rivers. And we're also then uh, starting to spin up something in the Seattle area. I should mention that we don't uh, think we need to stop here because the potential exists for uh, improvements in forecast to continue as science you know, discovers how to make better observations and predictions of atmospheric rivers. Uh, we could potentially build in to future decision-making tools for reservoir operations, the possibility of adapting the more skillful forecasts in a way that allows even greater flexibility for reservoir operations in the future. Among the many accomplishments represented by the completion of the final viability assessment for Lake Mendocino, two stand out to me. One, is the precedent that is set within the Corps of Engineers for how forecast informed reservoir operations can be safely and effectively implemented within the context of the flood risk management mission of the Corps of Engineers. The second is the pattern that was set for how individual stakeholders' perspectives can be brought together through the functioning of a steering committee where you have interaction between state, 
local, and federal agencies working together to ensure that all perspectives are brought together at the table as we assess the viability of forecast informed reservoir operations at a particular site. This pattern can be used throughout not just the Corps of Engineers, but any agency that wants to evaluate the applicability of FIRO at reservoirs within their portfolio. I'm really happy to see that the final viability assessment report has been completed. I was really honored to be a part of that process to collaborate with our state, local, and federal partners. What I thought really made this a successful effort was the ability for everyone to come to the table to speak their concerns and have them addressed, whether you are bringing up environmental, uh, water supply, or flood risk management issues. I look forward to further evaluating FIRO as we try to implement a water control manual update for Lake Mendocino. Josh Fuller, No Fisheries. I can't say enough about the completion of the FIRO FEA. Having been part of this process since the very beginning, I've experienced true sustained collaboration water management at a high level. The FIRO FEA demonstrates how multiple agencies with different missions can come together, develop a solution in a watershed known for drought, flooding, and endangered species. For this, I congratulate all involved for reaching a significant milestone. No Fisheries is proud to be part of this effort and what it means to manage water in a changing climate. Thank you. One of the big things that FIRO, or Forecast Informed Reservoir Operations, has done for us is to greatly expand our ability to fulfill our mission. You know, we need to balance water supply with flood protection. And FIRO has given us a structure for an unprecedented level of collaboration. And we've been able to demonstrate that using forecast information, we can store more water than we would have otherwise, and we can do it safely. The Lake Mendocino FIRO effort demonstrates that advances in forecasting open opportunities for new water management and reservoir operations paradigms. Growing demand for water in the Western United States, coupled with increasing prevalence of drought, will further strain our water resources in the decades to come. As such, the role of forecasts in reservoir operations will only increase in prevalence and importance as we work toward modern 21st century water management. Music